was a dream that my father had when we were living in Lilydale, really. He had a long time obsession with wine and we were always you know, hearing about wine and he was actually growing a few grapes in the backyard. He made his own wine making equipment out of pieces of wood in the shed. Forever late for dinner because he was always putting something together that was another piece of the process up in the back shed. And we didn't have a vineyard, so to speak, but um, the dream was there. John was a, a larger than life character. He had this kind of personality and persona about him that um, made us all feel like he was going to be here forever. He, he was from a science background, of course, and he had an inquiry and he wondered why one wine was good and one wine wasn't good. And obviously he soon discovered that it was what you grew, where you grew it, what the climate did to that plant in that location. I think that fascinated him right from the start. And then he wondered about why weren't we growing wines in Australia that would rank amongst the best in the world. Out towards Yarra Glen, there was one little hill that sort of stood out in the middle of the Yarra Valley uh, with a nice gentle north facing slope. He was determined to get hold of the property one way or the other and of course Mum was more than happy to uh, support the pursuit of this obsession. I remember the kind of the atmosphere and the excitement that revolved around vintage time, pretty contagious kind of feeling. John running around telling people what to do during harvest time and Mally putting on these huge lunches um, for everyone and you know family and friends was, was a huge part of, of the whole camaraderie of the place. We were shielded from all the work side of it and it was just a fun time to catch up with all our cousins, extended family, family friends and I guess it was just like a big celebration to us. It's, it's more about the beautiful surroundings and just having a really big space to play in, you know. It wasn't until uh, a bit older and telling people about where we live and things that you really realise um, what kind of a place it is. I believe this site is a very special place and a, um, a significant place to, to grow grapes. It seems to have these elements of soil, climate, and rainfall aspect all coming together to do something very, very special in terms of the production of wine grapes. I do enjoy that magic, that notion that there's something happening you know, through the roots and the vine and into the grape and it's actually lasting all the way through into the bottle and for years to come will be forever contained in that particular time. We're very respectful of the, I guess, skills and experiences that each of us bring to the table and complement each other in the success of the business. Everyone is here because they, they really, really want to be here. I think that's um, a huge factor in why we've got so much passion and feeling for what we do. Mum's one of the best cooks I know and uh, always puts on an amazing feed and Dad loves to get up and give a bit of a speech. He'll pretty much take any opportunity to do that. It's a real core part of the family, I think, being able to sit down together and enjoy a meal. We've come a long way in the last few years to really adapt the business to the here and the now, uh, being respectful of the past. The fact that Mount Mary is wholly family wholly self-contained is very, very important to me because we are the masters of our own destiny and it will sink or swim on our efforts alone and I think it will always be a measure of what we've achieved as a family.